You might have someone in your life that you might dislike for any particular reason. Maybe they slighted you in some way. They took that last slice of cake you were saving for dessert. Or you made a joke in a group of friends and then they repeated it but louder and got all the laughs. This video is going to explain how to murder them whilst avoiding suspicion and ultimately jail. First things first, you're going to need a victim. Here's one I prepared earlier. Yarg, I can't see a thing with these double eye patches. I found him littering on a beach and decided to do what the government won't to fix the issue of littering. Yarg, free me you landlubber. I have rights, Yarg. A pirate in 2024, you might be wondering. Well, it's simply explained by the fact that the author of this YouTube channel has a pretty limited vocal range and can only do like three, maybe four accents at a push. Arg, I'd say that's an area to focus and improve on, Arg. Maybe practice. Um, how about you shut the fuck? <coughs> Alright, now that that's out of the way, let's get back to the video. Step two is the process of actually carrying out the deed, which is really more of a personal thing and can vary depending on the reason for the murder. I'm not here to tell you how to swing an axe, but in general, less mess is best. Due to this being a YouTube video, I'm going to give this guy a peanut and let his allergies take him. Yarg, I actually have a tree nut allergy, not a peanut allergy. Well, you could have told me this before I bought this massive bag of peanuts. What am I supposed to do with this now? Arg, it be not my fault. You have communications issues, Arg. Right, bear with me, folks. We're having some technical issues. Okay, so I don't actually have a way to off him for now, but he agreed to just pretend for the remainder of the video so we can continue. So on to step three. You need to make sure that any belongings or personal effects of the victim are collected and disposed of correctly. You don't want the police knocking on your door three months later asking why they found some of your DNA in a plastic bag full of missing person's clothes. The ideal way to do this is to burn the clothes and the body simultaneously and stage it to look like a ghastly explosion. However, this is my house, so that's not going to happen. Instead, we're going to bury him. Ideally, you would want to separate the limbs for easier transport. Yarg, that hook literally cost me an arm and a leg. You best not damage it or you'll be hearing from my lawyers. Yarg. Yeah, I was almost sure you weren't going to say it then. Also, shush. Dead men don't talk. So now you have your body in a transportable manner. You would need to move them to the digging site, which you want to be as remote as possible with no direct link back to you. So now we're at the site, you need to set aside at least the whole night to dig because heavy machinery is way too inconspicuous and a six foot hole takes a lot of digging. So now you want to roll your body in and start covering it with dirt. Eventually you cover enough and then you can place a dead pet on top as a diversion for the police. The dead pet in a shallow grave above the victim is a good red herring as if it were to be dug up by the police, they may be thrown off thinking it's just a pet grave. I don't have a dead pet handy and... No, I'm not going to go skin the neighbourhood cat for a YouTube video. If you didn't know, in the UK we have these birds called pheasants and they're literally the dumbest animals alive. You'll be driving and then randomly they'll run across the road into your car for no reason at all. I bet they do it on purpose just to piss people off, playing a game of chicken but the goal is to lose. Steve-o, I bet you won't run across this road when this car comes up. You are sure about that lad? I bet you're tenor. You've got yourself a deep freedom. Mate, you're Gary Atena. Aye. So now you've successfully murdered and covered up your crime, you should be ready to. Yarg, I'm still alive, Yarg. <sighs> if I'm gonna be honest with you all, I'm not actually that good at being a murderer. It all goes back to the time I was working with the Shark Mafia as an executioner. Next time you'll pay Don Luciano his debts. Now you're sleeping with the fishes. Hey, Stu, did you get rid of that guy? Hey, what's going on here? Stu, you idiot. Why did you do that? I was told to make him sleep with the fishes, Danny. Stu, we was always sleeping with the fishes. We are fishes. I'm going to have to talk with Don Luciano about this. Maybe your current tenure with the outfit is, uh, how you say, an ill fit. Whoa, 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 hey, how'd you get out of the grave? Yarg, you didn't pack the dirt or nothing, and it moved out the way while you were flashbacking, Yarg. But whilst I've been there pondering me decisions, 
I realized that their being put in the ground made me realize that I'm not above anyone else and that I can improve myself for the betterment of the community arc. And that maybe the real treasure was the friends that we made along the way arg. No, no, I'd prefer the treasure. And you probably would too, if you're being honest. Yarg, I, I thought we were going to have a moment there, but alas, you do be speaking the truth. This is a pretty anticlimactic way to end the video, but this is uh, how to murder someone, I guess. It didn't really work out for me, but you guys might have more luck. Anyways, guys, if you liked the video, consider giving it a like and maybe hitting the subscribe button. But uh, other than that, hope to see you in the next one. Bye.